Hello again, yes, I'm here. My chest is still intact. Nothing burst through it last night. So last night I went to see the sequel to Prometheus, which is also the prequel to Alien, which would make this Alien Covenant. just got back um, it's nearly half past 11 at night I've just got back from the 8.30 screen of Alien Covenant it's the 11th of May you're probably seeing this on the 12th of May or after that but this was like a special like preview screening for those who brought like an Alien Day ticket where I think you see a couple of the films like the original films and then you get to see this one before the film actually comes out which I thought was a really good ticket to be honest I didn't buy it myself but it sounded awesome. So tonight I've just come back from the Odeon Switch Island. Now remember that place is so awesome because it's got its free parking. And not only did they give me the free parking, they gave me these premier seats which were really awesome. It's like, I even got shown to my seat. I don't remember, that's not happened to me in a cinema for a long time where someone actually takes you to the row of your seats and says, this is where you're sitting. That's, I thought it was just like something that happened in the old days. So thank you very much to the Odeon Switch Island for showing me my seat. So now that is all of the curtsies out of the way. Let's focus on what matters, this baby. So when the film starts, you've got this really cool music, like from the very first Alien film, and the titles all look very like the first film, the spaceships all like, well, even the shots are all very much like the very first Alien film. So when it first starts, you do feel like you're watching some kind of like, like 70s, 80s, like sci-fi film again. And all the way through the film as well, there were little homages to um, just little things that happened in Alien and Aliens. It was just like, I, I, again, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, so I'm not going to say anything, but there was little, little like, like set pieces that had happened in Alien and Aliens that kind of happened in this one well, but they've just been a bit more like obviously a bit more revamped, I guess. But they did, they kind of stand out and I think it kind of works having like all these little elements from the very first two Alien films thrown into this one. I think for that first like, you know, 20, 30 minutes, you're feeling like you are watching like an 80s, like or 70s sci-fi film. And it's not long before the first action sequence takes place. The first action sequence is Absolutely amazing, it happens so very fast. It's like, it's so bam, bam, bam. It's like, it's literally like edgy for your seat stuff. But then it kind of like slows down a lot. And it's like this massive period of like nothingness, like just people talking and it just, it gets really slow and I felt that. It just, it just killed the whole, I found that just killed the whole flow of it really. It didn't really, it was too much of a massive long gap between the action sequences. Because when there are action sequences, they're really, they're really, really good. But some of the bits in between are very, they're very long and a bit, a bit boring and you know, but it's all part of the story. So it is, it's all very important stuff. Another thing I will say about it, I mean, personally, this, I'm not sure this happened to anyone else, but from about like the 20, 30 minutes into the film, I kind of had an idea how the film was gonna end at that point. I sort of guessed how things were gonna go. And unfortunately, I guess right, I predicted the end. I knew how it was gonna end. I knew what was meant to be like a major twist. I knew what was gonna happen. Again, I don't know if anyone else felt that way, but I kind of saw the ending coming and I could see how they've also set out for the next one. Because I think really Scott said he wants to make two prequels to Prometheus, so there's gonna be another one after this one. Speaking of which, I think you do need to see Prometheus before seeing this one, because there's a lot that's brought up in this one that relates to Prometheus. Now what I've done is I put a link in the description on this video so if you want to go and buy it on DVD or Blu-ray just click on the link on there it's all there ready to go if you want to go and buy it if you're going to see it like in about a week's time Amazon will deliver it to you in time or you can hold it up for film for or another channel they might screen it sometime soon but yeah there's a link to Amazon in the description so just click on that it's all there for you so if you want it immediately just order it from Amazon and hopefully it'll get to you in a few days and you can go and see Alien Covenant because this one does take place about 10 years after Prometheus so it kind of is a good idea to know like how this is all being set up because it is everything in Alien Covenant is set up because of Prometheus. In one of those boring bits in the middle there was a little bit of a there was a bit of a funny scene it wasn't meant to be funny but it had the whole cinema laughing and I think um, I thought really Scott would have known about this because being from England when you've got a scene with two blokes sitting facing each other and they're talking about fingering and holes you're gonna get the British audience laughing at that one, you really are. It's like, and it, it, I don't think it's, it was intentionally meant to be funny, but as I say, if you're talking fingering and holes, you're gonna have British audiences laughing at that, mate. So to summarize, the film is two hours long. It's, it is a good film. I was a little bit disappointed by the ending, because I think maybe because I saw it coming. The cinema was packed, I have to say, it was completely full up, but I would go and see it, it's, it's definitely worth it. So that is my view of Alien Cop. 
Oh, fuck. So that is my view of Alien Covenant, but if you would like to find out for yourself what it's like, it will be playing only in cinemas probably for a very long time, yeah. So, moving on, it's competition time. And like the last competition we did, this one will be done exactly the same, okay? I give you three films to choose from. You choose one film that you would like to see or you'd like reviewed. Your name gets put into the competition draw. So the three films this week are Colossal, King Arthur Legend of the Sword, and Snatched and I'll bring you the trailers for all of these very soon. However, the competition is open as of now, and it will close at 11.59 on Thursday the 18th of May. In the meantime, I'll be back on Monday with exactly the same competition details and the Alien review again. Have a great weekend, and remember, never confuse education with intelligence. See you Monday.